This is the FM Gold Channel of All India Radio. In the program News Analysis, we now bring you a discussion on impact of monsoon on agriculture. The participants are Dr. S. D. Atri, DDG, India Meteorological Department, and Dr. Kuldeep Sharma, Chief Editor, ICAR. The greatest seasonal change in global circulation is the development of monsoon. More precisely, we can say the word monsoon right to wind system that exit pronounced seasonal reversal in the direction. As we know that Indian economy is the largest and depend on the agriculture only, which monsoon plays a vital role. In fact, in agriculture, the total land is depend on the rain fed. 65% of the area is the rain fed and the rest only 35 is having the irrigation facilities. In spite of that, we have achieved a good targets. This year the monsoon plays a vital role, means it was the thing that the more 6% rains we have received. Don't you think that delay of this monsoon or the coming early of the monsoon will affect on our total change of uh, this environment? You have said and correctly described the monsoon system because it is a lifeline of our agriculture system because we get around three-fourths or 75% of the total rain during these four months from June to September that is monsoon season. That's why it is vital for our agriculture and total economic growth. If we go with rainfall during these four months it was 106% of the long term average. If we go with the more homogeneous regions that 109% rainfall was received over northwest India, 123% over central India, 115% over south peninsula and 72% over northeast India. If we go with the more distribution subdivision wise, India Med Department has distributed India into 36 subdivisions. Out of 36 divisions, 14 subdivisions covering 48% area of the country received excess rainfall. 16 subdivisions covering 38% of the area received normal rainfall. Only 6 divisions, they were in the deficient category covering 14% of the area. If we go with the district level statistics, out of the 640 districts, 100 were affected by moderate meteorological drought where seasonal deficiency was of the order of 26 to 50 percent and only 39 districts were affected by severe meteorological drought where deficiency was from 51 percent and more. So out of 641, only 139 districts faced somewhat drought conditions. As far as monsoon onset is concerned, it started onset over Andaman and Nicobar islands three days earlier on the exact date of first June over Kerala and covered whole India by 16th of the June instead of 15th July which is normal date you can say it is one month earlier than it was 13 days earlier in Delhi also and during this season two monsoon depression and 16 monsoon low were formed against the six monsoon depression and six monsoon low which are the normal conditions and the forecast given by the India Management Department at different stages with the 26th June and then 14th June and then up was updated for July, August and September. What was the forecasted? It was more or less same. So we can say the forecast which started 1988 for the total months and from the 2005 for the onset over Kerala it proved to be accurate. But as we think that in the year of 1959, this monsoon extended up to the 12th of the October. And this time it is also exceed, means the late farewell to the monsoon. You are absolutely right, because monsoon has still not withdrawn. It started withdrawing from the extreme western parts, Badmer, Bikaneer, on the 19th September. And then there was some further withdrawal from Himachal Pradesh, Punjab and Jammu and Kashmir and some parts of Haryana and Rajasthan by 18th of the September. After that there were again revival of the activities in other regions and monsoon withdrawal was, I will say, stopped or halted. So still good rainfall is going on in many parts of the country and you are aware that for the last two days we are having very, very heavy rainfall with the coming of the Fallen cyclone. What is the uh, forecast of particularly for the northeastern monsoon which is to be in, uh, give a more effect on it? Yeah, northeast monsoon that is total rainfall from the October to December is given for the 
southern India. We have two regions, one is Tamil Nadu, where forecast is of above normal rainfall, that is 114 plus minus 25 percent we are expecting above normal rainfall in Tamil Nadu and other is South Peninsula consisting of the states of Tamil Nadu, coastal Andhra Pradesh, Rail Sima, Kerala and South Interior, Karnataka. We will be getting normal rainfall in the northeast monsoon October to December and Tamil Nadu we are expecting above normal rainfall. Dr. Atri, don't you think that it is the effect of global warming as recently we have faced this monster feline which uh, batters the Andhra Pradesh, Bihar and most of the part of the states and other parts of the that, uh, country also. First let us see this Helen tropical cyclone. You are aware that this cyclone category was of the order of very severe cyclonic storms. It hit yesterday in the evening to the Gopalpur where the winds was of the order of 200 to 220 km per hour. India Meteorological Department gave forecast started with the forecast of four days in advance where it will hit, when it will hit and what will be the fury of this tropical cyclone fell in. All the three things they were very accurate and you are aware some of the foreign websites they were forecasting this cyclone extremely strong even stronger than Katrina where winds may be of the order of 325 or more than this, this few kilometer per hour. This was not happened what was the forecasted by India Meteorological Department that proved totally correct you will agree with me. Then another thing in the 26th of the last month 26th September there was release of the fifth assessment report of the intergovernmental panel on climate change which we are thinking at main scientific findings as far as global consensus is concerned. It has forecasted that temperature during the past 110 years has risen point, about 0.89 degrees Celsius. Indian condition is as per India Med Department records 1901 to 2012 it is 0.6 degrees. So it is indicating that India is also getting warmer like the world. There is no doubt in that as per IPCC that worth is getting warmer. Whether it is land area, it is sea area, it is warming. Snow ice is depleting, sea level is rising. These are findings. As, as far as its predictions are concerned, that they have predicted that temperature will increase. Rainfall, as in the past, in some areas it has decreased, some areas it has increased. There is no definite pattern. But fury of the cyclone has increased. Like number of cyclones have decreased. But total when total rainfall is same, it means its fury will increase. This intensity will be higher, it will be more stronger. More stronger means there will be more destruction. More destruction there. These are the forecast of the findings of the IPCC. As far as India is concerned, because Minister of Earth Sciences and IITM and IMD all are working what will be done under Indian scenarios. We are also getting results that India temperature is increasing as far as the rainfall is concerned. All the models show that rainfall will increase. This is not cause of worry because we will be getting more rainfall in the coming years. But only cause of worry is that their variability will increase. Sometimes we will be getting more rainfall, sometimes less rainfall. Total number of days they are decreased and rain is increasing. It means we will be getting higher rain in less number of the events. So when very heavy rainfall is there, there may be chances of flooding. If less rainfall is there, then it, is, it leads to somewhat droughty conditions. So we have to keep watch. But total water is not going to decrease. This is cause of some satisfaction for us. Our hands are closed against this uh, disaster. But the thing is that uh, IPC says that uh, last decade, the rise in the temperature was 0.47. And it is expected that in the end of the century, the temperature will rise from 2 to 4.7 degrees Celsius. Don't you think it will affect our not only agriculture, but the glaciers will melt down and the rise in the sea level also and it will be create the havoc of this flood and drought also. There are two issues. Like yeah. if we go with the last 10 years, the increase of the temperature has decreased. I will say that speed it is not increasing. But what is the forecast using different models all over the world? This is the temporary phenomenon. And temperature what you have mentioned it will be increased more than 2 degree or may go up to 4.8 degree or so depending on the different scenarios. What will be the world tomorrow? Whether we will be using more fossil fuel, we will be using more and more non-conventional energy 
like solar energy or wind energy or this type of the energy which is not affecting in the environment whether there will be the balanced growth or fragmented or what type of the world will be there depending on forecast will come so that is why all the countries of the world they are trying to get some consensus consensus so that we can take actions to stop the temperature less than 2 degree centigrade so that its very harmful effect can be minimized so world leaders must come forward they must do something to take strong action so that this global warming should be contained to the reasonable limits otherwise yeah, if temperature goes to very very high limits it will be the catastrophic for not only agriculture to all sectors of the dr atri the rains at the tail end of the season and certainly we will not receive more rains uh, in spite of the scattered rains and also but uh, the kharif crop and the ravi crop which is to be come up kharif crops are having is a ripened stage like this our rice is also in the ripened stage the vegetables are also in the rising stage and this okra and uh, garlic onion all these things are in the part uh, which we have to face the rains don't you think the major issue two things i want to know what will the effect on these crops secondly don't you think uh, that ravi cropping will be delayed there are two issues let's first go with the rainfall during first 12 days of the october over north east india it is 2% higher north india it is 59% higher say central india 136% higher and southern india it is minus 20% but country as a whole 39% plus we are going and late monsoon withdrawal you are absolutely right because vegetables are being affected say this gujarat very very heavy rainfall has been there it is affecting the crops then other like cyclone that struck yesterday so heavy rainfall is there different uh, like banana crop is there cashew crop is there or this type of crop they will directly be affected because already rainfall has been good during the monsoon season and again with the cyclone and with the such a fury cyclone and the rainfall is very very high in these region there will be a flooding condition they are definitely going to affect our agriculture but delayed monsoon because rice is being impacted vegetables are being impacted and northeast monsoon um, for southern india i have given this forecast but for other parts of the country because the rain are continuing so water point of view there is no problem but this should stop so that this uh, creep crops can be harvested in a very congenial atmosphere and whatever moisture is there sufficient moisture is there for rabi crops that will be sufficient for our crops with the residual moisture but not only that it will also increase the insect population which will affect our plant protection particularly if you think for our urban areas dengue like diseases are will be there and if we think for the rural areas it will affect our plant growth absolutely because this is the window temperatures are not very going down fastly so dengue problem is still there because we this breeding and then intensification window is still there and when cloudy conditions remain and moisture is sufficient this is very congenial atmosphere or outbreak of the disease so it will definitely hamper the prospectus of the other crops our this pesticide or this fungicide application will be more not only pollute the environment and but also it affect our yeah. affect the quality of the food grains but and it also adds burden to the total expenditure which farmers has to spend take or has to spend so it is not very healthy so we are expecting that days to come then this monsoon withdrawal will again fasten westerly winds flow but now if we take this is a central to eastern india rainfall is still continuing but like say western part of the country including madhya pradesh or western up isolated rainfall will be there for next few days that one or two place one to 25% area southern parts or they due to the impact of the cyclone rainfall will still be very heavy but uh, how you will judge that uh, coming crops or the coming weather will be changed the definite because sun rays their intensity when sun moves to the southern hemisphere the its rays will be coming down temperature will be decreasing so rain will definitely will be coming to the end so we hope that uh, all this situation will be help to our farmers and as well as our citizens too thank you very much you were listening to a discussion on impact of monsoon on agriculture the participants were dr s d atri ddg india meteorological department and dr kuldeep sharma chief editor icar it came to you in the program news analysis produced and presented by the news services division of all india radio this program is also available on our website newsonair.in
nic.in. You may email your opinion about this program at airnsdtalks at gmail.com.